in what could be a very important night for the SmackDown roster. Welcome to NSW SmackDown. My name is Davies, alongside Marky Marks, and by satellite, Tim Price. Yep, I'm here. Live, well, live via satellite. Marky? Not good evening. We are ready to go, guys. The draft happened this Monday night. Paul Heyman has already said Gadrian Kincaid is in for a lot of trouble, and there's also a huge announcement to be made by Paul Heyman tonight. Guys, I don't know what it is, but Marky, it's going to be... Ex oh, hold on, sorry. Oh, here he comes. Ah, hold on. Certain mm. someone missing. Yeah, a certain Adrian Kincaid is missing from this picture. And of course, Munder and AJ Styles, Marky, won the tag team titles off the Shield this past Sunday night. And big uh, win for them on the draft on Monday night as well. Yep, some great wins. And, uh, let's see what Whoa, hold on. Back. What is he wearing? Paul Heyman's got a belt on. Is it, what does it say? Well, I don't know. I can't. Really, the camera's not facing him. No, it's not. Uh, and, well. But, uh, 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 camera, cameraman, could you, you know. Yep. I had a, a feeling Adrian Kincaid was going to be. Stepped into the lion's den. Now. Oh, no. It's going to be hardcore. Oh, that, that's not Adrian good. King Cage, you messed with Paul Heyman. That was a bad career move on your part. Um, what the hell? NSW Cruiserweight? What? Paul oh, Heyman wow. is... We're, we're, we're going to get a new title. A new title? And Well, that that's exciting to say the least. And it means Raw's going to keep the hardcore title and we're going to have an eight-man tournament start tonight. Wow. Yeah, it sounds absolutely brilliant. Great. Great work by Paul Heyman again. And it means the high... Like he's a bad general manager. But why is he wearing... Nice of him to wear the belt, I guess. Mm, not, not much of a cruiserweight, though. <laughs> no, well, you said that, not me. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is the tournament bracket. We have been told the eight men who are going to compete for the tournament. Sami Zayn and Tyler Breeze and Seth Rollins versus Dom will kick us off tonight. Next week, Tyson Kidd will take on Dolph Ziggler and Adrian Neville will take on Fandango. Well, I love exciting matchups in that tournament bracket. And yep, we are going to kick things off straight away. It's Sami Zayn versus Tyler Breeze. It is your opening round match for the Cruiserweight title. Epo, well, what a way to kick off SmackDown seeing these two go one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, making his way to the ring first. He is from Canada. He is Sami Zayn. Well, this could be a big, you know, step up for Sami Zayn. He's had some mixed results, but, well, imagine him as Cruiserweight Champion. Marky, you have to think this is right down Sami Zayn's uh, alley. Yeah, this is definitely down his alley. And uh, if he gets a win here tonight, that could be a good way to get going to be the Cruiserweight Champion. Sami Zayn, always one to get the crowd going. The Ole chance are going. Let's see if Sami Zayn can progress into the semi-finals. Remember the, sorry, the quarterfinals. Yeah, semi-finals, yeah. See, this is the quarterfinals. That was long, guys. <laughs> yeah, 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 I'm sure you're right there. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. I'm positive. Nah. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, making his way to the ring. His opponent from his seasonal residence in Milan, Italy. He is... Tyler Breeze. But you know, speaking of Sami Zayn, uh, this sort of match fitting for him, I think it fits for Tyler Breeze as well. I mean, we've seen Tyler Breeze hit high flying, high risk maneuvers. Mm. In indeed, and of course, Prince Pretty would love to be the first ever cruiserweight champion here in NSW. Yeah, God, great as well. A lot of prestige there. No, you get your name as the first ever. Yeah, Marky, you have to think. Tyler Breeze, along with Sami Zayn, have to be eyeing up this this trophy. Tyler Breeze yet to win any gold in NSW. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure Tyler Breeze would want to make this maybe his first. Well, it could happen. He's so close to winning the tag team titles just a few weeks ago. Will this be Tyler Breeze's crowning achievement? Let's see if he can get past the quarterfinals, though. It's coming up on SmackDown. So we're off and underway for our first match tonight. Guys, we're going to start with Tim. No, I've got to go with uh, Tyler Breeze. 
I think he's just gonna just that new vicious side we've been seeing of him just gonna get the win on Sami Zayn okay and what about you uh, Marky I'm gonna go for the Sami Zayn okay let's see how uh, you, you do here look at this look at Tyler Breeze and Sunset Flip oh, oh my boy. into the power bomb yeah, speak about Maybe. that vicious side of Tyler Breeze and my goodness and this is what it'll mean, guys. The Cruiserweight title, as I said, the first new title we've had in NSW for a, well since the beginning. And now, a chance for one of these guys to cut progress into the semi-finals where they'll face either Seth Rollins or Dom in a few weeks. Yeah, and well, you know, once this match is over and whoever's winning, they're going to be keeping a close eye on that match. On the team, we might see who their opponent will be. Look at this, saying nice dropkick. Sorry, uh, Breeze, nice dropkick right to the back of Sami Zayn. Marky, you've got to think in this match, both men are high flyers. As I say, most of these cruiserweights are going to be, it's going to be high flying, non stop action. And you have to think, so it's the, could you say it's the man that makes the first mistake? Yeah, the, the first man to mess up and hit the canvas instead of the person might be uh, the one to lose. Yeah, I completely agree with that. And oh, nice insecurity to the back of the head. And Tim, you have to think, Sami Zayn, if you're Sami Zayn, what would be your route to victory here? I'd say, you know. Anyone! Even a Canadian can do a Russian leg sweep. Yeah, as, as I was saying, I think, um, I think he's going to, when you start high foot, the more high fun he has over Todd Breezen, I'd say focus on the body. Don't go near the face because, uh, Tyler Breeze just goes mental when you go near the face. Well, look at this. Tyler Breeze looking to end this one here. Into the cover. No hook of the leg. Is that enough? No, not even a one. Got to really hook the leg for, for to hit um, Sami Zayn there. And look at this respectful again by Breeze. And we've seen plenty of this on Monday night, Marky, when Tyler Breeze... Oh, my goodness. So he hits the Ooh. DDT. And well, look at this, Bree. That, that Bree be it. Yeah, that could be it. Into the cover, hook of the leg. Is that enough to put away Zayn? Two, no, no, just a two. Zayn looks in a lot of danger. And beauty shot. Beauty shot by, Sir, by yeah. Tyler Breeze. And Tyler Breeze moves on in the tournament. Well, i got to say to Dom and, or Seth Rollins is, well, look out for this guy. Because wow. that's who you're facing. What a big win, ladies and gentlemen. The winner of the match. It is Tyler Breeze. And well, what a great win for Tyler Breeze. And well, just like the tag tournament, can we see him progress to like the finals? Well, we will find out in the weeks to come. But Tyler Breeze making a statement, ladies and gentlemen, here tonight. Prince Pretty on a roll. We'll we see that rock we'll continue. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Tyler Breeze becomes your first person in to the semi finals. He will face the winner of the match later on between Seth Rollins and Dom. And well, it's already good. Look at the talent in this competition, Marky. You have to think it's up for grabs by any of these eight people. Yeah, any of these people, I mean, we even got a Bisping boy in. I cut two of them. Yep. Ladies and gentlemen, just a quick reminder that the Elimination Chamber is available on the network. If you haven't watched it already, what a pay-per-view it was back on Sunday night. We, of course, have a new NSW champion in CM Barnett. New World Tag Team Champions in Mundo and AJ Styles. If you want to see how they won it, you want to go back to the network and you want to check out the Elimination Chamber. Unbelievable. Any pay-per-view, any show that we have ever done is on there. And we are all moving forward to the Night of Champions. Every title will be on the line, including NXT. And Tim, the Cruiserweight belt will be decided for the first time. Yeah, I can't wait to see who will progress to the finals in that match and who will win at Night of Champions. It is going to be a great pay-per-view. Yeah, it is coming up at the end of April. Do not miss it. Clear your diaries. Night of Champions coming from NSW. Coming up next, talk about the new tag team champions. They're going to be in action as the Ascension take on Mundo and AJ Styles. And well, Kincaid, but I hope he doesn't mess up this time. Yeah, Kincaid is in a, well, a bit of trouble, you could say, with Paul Heyman. And, well. Oh, I just get goosebumps when, this ha when these two come out. 
chair that the Ascension are very well strange individuals they are and oh jeez. Ladies and gentlemen, making their way to the ring, the team of Connor and Victor, the Ascension. Depp, I've got those goosebumps. Just, yeah. just look at these two. Honestly, if it doesn't strike fear in anyone, just this entrance alone can play mind games with the opposition. And yes, they're going against the World Tag Team Champions, but Connor and Victor have held them titles before, and you know that they will be biting at the the bit to get a shot again at Mundo and AJ Styles. Yeah, definitely agree there. They definitely want to get that opportunity again to face well the tag team champions and Mundo and AJ Styles. The win here tonight, well, they definitely have earned it. Well, Connor, Victor, I mean they're weird, they're in Oh, it's gone very cold in here. Yeah. You're lucky you're lucky you're not even here. Yeah, I know, but I could just feel how I can imagine how cold it is. Feel the cold from here. I let don't the, even know how. Let let there be light. Well, ladies and gentlemen, their opponents making their way to the ring, accompanied by Adrian Kincaid. They are your new world tag team champions, the Mundo and AJ Styles. Yeah, you may criticize them for being Paul Heyman guys, but what great tag team champions we have here on SmackDown. Just so you know, we made fun of for being appointment wackies, not guys. Mm. Yes, I agree. The come on, Tim. Mundo Ninja Styles did the dirty work for Paul Heyman to get a title shot. Yeah, and that's how you get ahead in this business. This business isn't about you know being a good guy, being all smiles and making friends. It's about becoming champion. Well, let's see if that is the case. Let's see if. Well, Kincaid on the outside, we know he's got to face Brock Lesnar later on tonight. Tim, who do you think is going to win this one? No, I've got to go with my boys, Mundo and AJ Styles. Okay. Now they've got, I mean, yeah, you used to be saying Kincaid's been messing up, but still think they're going to get the win. Okay, what about you, um, Marky? Uh, I'm going to go for the Ascension, and uh, I'm surprised uh, Paul Heyman even trust the uh, Agent Kincaid to be at their side today. I would probably think it's more the case of he's probably told him, look, you're going to get a beaten tonight. Get out there. Help Mundo. Well, you remember he was on Mundo and AJ style on Sunday night. So possibly it's sort of trying to work himself back into uh, Heyman's good books. Yeah, he's maybe trying to get back in there. Oh, that was an interesting bit. Mm. Uh, I, I just thought he was going to get in. himself in. Yeah, well, as you see, it is... Don't get us wrong, Mundo and AJ Styles know how to do it, but again, don't count everything from what you see. I'm sure there would have been uh, tactics behind that, but yeah, it didn't pay off. Nah. Oh, just a headbutt from Connor to AJ Styles. And AJ definitely in the wrong part of town here. Off the ropes. Oh, look at... No, what a no, good reversal wow, that is. Reversal. <laughs> and AJ definitely on a roll. AJ has not missed a beat since coming back here, Marky. And you have to say, the tag team division now has definitely just hotened up a bit since Mundo and AJ Styles have come back. Yeah, let's see how long they hold the, these towers this time, as mm. they are the longest reigning. Look out, what a flapjack taking down Connor and AJ just working over Connor here. And there's the chop block taking him down. Marky, it, Kincaid on the outside, you've got to think, really has got to make sure he does nothing wrong in, in this match. Yeah, he's got to make sure he does nothing but help uh, the champions if he wants to survive tonight. And remember, he does have that hardcore match later on tonight against Brock Lesnar. And, well, as Heyman said, if <laughs> Lesnar's angry, he could be in a lot of trouble. Definitely, I mean, I don't think I, I very rarely ever seen Brock Lesnar with a smile on his face. In. Did you see but, him tonight? Did you see the way he was like sort of snarling in the ring? Yeah, he just... He looked like he wanted to destroy Adrian Kincaid. It'll be uh, it's a w it'll be a wonder if Heyman is not keeping Lesnar away from Kincaid because if he doesn't keep him away, he might not even make it to the match. Yeah, we all know what Brock Lesnar's capable of. We know the destruction he can cause. Look out, Mundo looking to fly here. Uh, oh, nice oh. crossbody! 
He kind of look. What I'm wondering is. Oh look! Oh, well, Victor was distracted. I think by King Kid, and well, that may have cost the ascension. Yeah, King Kid, well proving his worth, right there. And look at this, O'Connor again. That takes Mundo down. What a shot! Now there's the tag. Victor in. King Kid looking unhappy. Maybe it didn't quite pay off as well as he was hoping. Mm, you've got to say he has got to make sure that Mundo and AJ Styles come away here with a victory. Victor in now. Oh no! Look at this. Tripping Mundo up and fi face, face Marky. Mundo in a lot of trouble here. Yeah, he's in a lot of trouble. And uh, what's, what's he going to do here? Tilt a well back break and Victor takes M Mundo down. Well, you, you know one thing I was wondering me is, where's Beggin been ever since he's been uh, a, a, a poly and wacky? That is true. We haven't heard or seen from Megan in a long time. Mundo looking to end what? this one into the cover. Is yeah. that enough? AJ stopped it's, him. No. No, just a two. Yeah, Victor manages to kick out. But Mondo not letting up, just stand on him and oh boy. Uh oh. He'd be looking oh, for no. it. Has him up! Yep. M5! Hits it perfectly. But the thing is, Connor ducked, uh, took AJ Styles out of the ring. That may just let the ascension back in here. Two and oh, Connor oh, breaks wow. it up. I thought that. I thought AJ Styles was maybe going to be just have enough time to cut him off, but no. But look at this. AJ Styles has Victor in. Now, of course, this is not going to count because AJ is not the legal man. Yeah. No, but this weakens up Victor. But I'm surprised the ref is letting this continue on. Yeah, he's just losing control of his match. He just when it happened, I guess he doesn't want to get fired by uh, Paul Heyman. That's true. You know, it's a wonder Heyman doesn't have the, the referee in his pocket as well. Oh, he probably does. And look at this, just wrench him back. Referee, come on, you've got to fight. Get him out of there. No, 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 the ref is doing the smart move here. You don't. This is... And Victor oh. breaks out. Come on, ref, get Styles out of there. There you go. Oh, there you go. Finally starting to count. But, but Victor distracted and Mundo takes full advantage into the cover. And this should be... Oh, come on. That was a terrible position by the ref on that pin. And now Connor's in. Now, finally, the, the Ascension might get their own back here. Yeah. It's a good thing the ref got out. Connor, Connor's quick as he could. Oh. oh, what a moonsault off the second rope. Ascension maybe just minutes away here. Oh, but then he crashes oh. and burns. Mundo uh, and, and now Styles is in. AJ. And I think AJ could be looking to end it here. Yeah, that could do it. Into the cover. Is that enough? There's two and three. Got him. Wow. And what an impressive win for Mundo and AJ Styles here tonight. The World Tag Team Champions pick up the win. And maybe this just might help Kincaid in the eyes of Paul Heyman. Your winners, the team of Mundo and AJ Styles. Yep, you got to think, maybe King Cade's finally back into the good books of Paul Heyman, which is where he needs to be. Yep, but is he in the good books of uh, Brock Lesnar? <laughs> We're gonna Probably find not. <laughs> We're going to find out a little bit later on how much of a good books he is. That's but the question. See. Mando and AJ Styles with the win here tonight. And ladies and gentlemen, Renee Young is with your new NSW champion, CM Barnett. Bonnet winning the Elimination Chamber this past Sunday. Tim, well, he said he's the best in the world. Now, he's definitely best in the world. He is best in the world. Yeah, yeah, that title backs up what he says he is. You know, if you've got that championship, you can claim you're the best in the world. Well, you have to say it, Mark. He, he did it the, the hard way. He came in halfway through and, well, took advantage of, well, everyone else is in fighting to take the championship. Yeah, he definitely took advantage, especially of uh, Kincaid going after Brock Lesnar. That, that is still the most shocking bit of the Elimination Chamber. You've got to see it, guys. You've got to go to the network. If you haven't seen it already, check it out. Unbelievable uh, match from the SmackDown side of things. And, well, Sam Bonnet says he'll take on anyone, anyone who wants to step up. And as long as Paul Heyman agrees, he'll get it, he'll get it on in the ring. Uh -huh. And that's what a fighting champion does. Thank you, Renee, for that. Let's get on with more action here tonight as Fandango takes on one half of the core in the Beast. Nice. 
Could be a very interesting match now that we see the core here on SmackDown. I think, well, Fandango could be in for a tough fight, to well, say the least. Here he comes, ladies and gentlemen, being accompanied by Winter Ray. He, he is Fandango. I don't know if I said that right. Um, maybe. I think he, like, he, whenever he says it's more like, Fandango. Go on, Marky, have a go. Fandango. I like Mar Marky's. Marky, I like Marky's. Yeah, yeah, I think Marky's got that, it. He's got it down to the T, hasn't he? Yeah. Well, I, I, th I think Marky should be Fandango's personal <laughs> ring announcer. Oh, my God. We, we, he's just coming at the commentary booth. We don't want to lose another one. Good and point. <laughs> <laughs> well, Fandango with the crowd. And he said, look at the crowd. The crowd getting well into this one. But you know, Tim, because me and you have seen a lot of the core on main event. <laughs> he's going to be in for a bit of a tough task tonight. Uh, he definitely is. So I'm a little bit distracted. Oh, look at Winter Eye. Just, just as good looking as Summer. Can we not turn his mic, like, his thing off? Huh? Turn his screen the off? Satellite? When, yeah. yeah, can we not, like, cut it? No. Uh, well, uh, production crew? Just cut it. No! <laughs> it took him a while to realize. Yeah. Yeah, I'm being oh, too distracted. Oh, lucky man. Well, what a change. In uh, here, ladies and gentlemen, as coming to the ring, accompanied by Jimmy Havoc. He is the beast. Yeah, the beast. Well, you could say a complete polar opposite of uh, Fandango. Just all business. And just hard hitting. And the worst thing is, for Fandango, he has, he's just got a hit move here. Yeah, I, I think Fandango's got to try and use the well, the speed advantage he has. But then again, the Beast is not a slow guy. We've seen what he can do. Oh yeah, I completely agree with that. He has, he he he's got the strength, the speed. But as I say, Fandango is in a tough task. It's coming up next, ladies and gentlemen. The Beast makes his debut on SmackDown as he takes on Fandango. Ready. Look at Jimmy Havoc. Jimmy Havoc knows what's coming up. Well, let's see what the guys think. We'll start with Marky this time. Well, I, I gotta go for the Beast. Just look at him compared to Fandango. Tim? I've also got a guy of the Beast. As I said, it's just, he's just so young and he's just got so much ahead of him and the size of him. And of course, Jimmy Havoc will be a part of the Cruiserweight tournament which started tonight. He will be in action next week. And you got to think, the only problem there for Jimmy Havoc is, Tim, no beast allowed at ringside. No, but, you know, you can't count that girl like Jimmy Havoc. We've seen what he can do in the ring. So I think he could be a big contender in there, but... Wow, just look at the strength from Fandango. Yeah, and don't... Talk about the beast strength, but we'll look at him. Yeah, you don't count Fandango at all, Marky. You were right. Because if Fandango gets his head of steam, he can beat out competition. And if he can get Beast on an off day, you just never know. You never know. Anything could happen. You know, NSW, anything can happen here in NSW. Yeah, I mean, well, Fandango's here for a reason, and he's definitely got the skill. So, as I said, you can't count him out, but it's going to be a tough task. And look at this, the go back into the hind here, and suplex on the Beast. Oh, no. uh, not the same. <laughs> I had to put up is with that, this on Wednesday. The what? Is that the thing you say now? No, I'm just, it was a suplex. What more? I, have to, I, I say the moves. You know what I mean? It's not my problem. You know, I, I'm the I'm the play-by-play -play guy here. You know. That's true. And oh, back rake down by the beast. But you'd have to say Fandango working over the the much better part of this match. Beast is in sort in some trouble here. Yeah, I think you know Fandango's just using that speed that he has. You know, he's trying to just dictate. The pace against a guy like the Beast. Exactly what he needs to do. And look at that nice shot down. And then look at this. Just punches to the side of the head. And well, the Beast in a bit of trouble here. Yeah, the Beast. Not something you very very rarely see with someone like the Beast. Him just getting dominated like this. Look at this. Oh, dropping the leg down. 
right the way across. Fandango now in control. Oh, and a back rake again by... His best hasn't really got out of the blocks here. Maybe it's nerves, Tim. Maybe because it's his debut. Maybe, maybe he is suffering from nerves. Yeah, you, that can very much happen when, you know, you debut somewhere else and, you know, now he's on SmackDown. It's just the nerves of coming to a new place. And, Marky, you've got to be impressed with Fandango here so far. Yeah, Fandango is showing us that he's got what he got. And um, going against the Beast here, we thought was going to dominate. Look at this. Now the armbar by Fandango. And dropping down the Beast across his knee. And Fandango in up control here. Yeah, I'm really quite surprised. I thought Beast was just going to have this hand. And uh-oh. Uh -oh. And, well, Fandango looking to end this one. Beast trying to get some momentum back. May have just woke him up a bit now. The hard shots on the Beast. And, oh, dear. Oh, no. Not looking good oh. for Fandango. Yeah. When Pulling you, that out of nowhere. Those punches can just damage you so badly. And no, just a kid at one. Fandango still in it yet. Beast, oh, that disrespect. And the Beast Stunner. Hits it, and I think that's all over for Fandango. You may be in control most of the match, but if he hits that, there is no coming back. The Beast picks up the win. Well, what an impressive win for the Beast here tonight. He looked like he was in dire straits, and then he just, just came back at the very end. Yep, he ladies and gentlemen. Yep, ladies and gentlemen, the winner of this match, the Beast. Yeah, I can say he definitely stunned us. Uh, no pun intended. <laughs> None taken, I guess. But, well, I could definitely predict big things here for the Beast. And, well, Jimmy Havoc as well. We'll see how he does next week when it comes to that Cruiserweight tournament. Yep, Beast the winner here tonight on SmackDown. Uh-oh. Oh, oh no. not done. Well, yeah. see, I know Fandango had most of the match, but Beast isn't going to take this down lightly. Oh, oh goodness me look at the aggression yes jimmy take it off him for goodness oh, sake no, oh no come off. on and that is how you bring a message to smackdown that is how you make a name that is true coming up next eric rowan from the white family is gonna take on hunter one on one uh, very interesting match you got two kind of out of there individuals taking each other while silent and out of there oh oh Talk about the ascension uh, can we have the lights? Dick. Did we forget to pay the electricity bill again? Uh, uh, I don't think so. What Somebody! Oh! Oh, oh. oh God. Ladies and gentlemen, making his way to the ring, he is Eric Rowan! That's... that's scary. I... I... I have no words. That's just... That is how to intimidate your opponent. Oh, my goodness. Eric Rowan, part of the Wyatt family, and, well, if his size isn't intimidating enough, ladies and gentlemen, the eeriness of this guy. Yeah. And look at the mist and fog in the ring. Uh, I mean, yes. Daniel's not here. He's not breathing this in, but... Well, ladies and gentlemen, if there's anyone that could slay Eric Ruin, it could be this guy making his way to the ring. He is Hunter. Yeah, well, I said about, you know, quiet out of their individuals. I think, you know, one guy who probably matches up to Eric Rowan is Hunter. I, I've got to agree with you, Hunter. It has to be. If there's anyone that really can likes the challenge, you would say, of going against the bigger guys it's th it's this guy here i think he's the one guy that eric roan couldn't physically intimidate one bit he just does marky this guy just doesn't seem to fear anybody he doesn't fear anybody he definitely showed it during the uh the tournament the tag team tournament when they almost won those titles and of course with tyler breeze many people didn't even think they would get along, but it just shows you when it comes to Golden and Astrology, anybody will team with anyone in well Hunter. What a tag team partner he is. He's already won the gold. He won it with Carlos. He defeated Mundo and AJ Styles back in season two. 
Yes, yeah, sir. Hunter definitely has the accomplishments behind him. Well, let's see what the guys think here. We'll go with Tim this time. You know, I've, I'm actually, I am going to go with Hunter for this match. I think the fact he's not intimidated one bit by Eric Rowan is just going to give him that advantage. What about you, Marky? Uh, I'm going to go for Eric Rowan. Okay. Come on, Marky. Give us, give us your thoughts on this match. Then, if, you, if you're Eric Rowan, say you're now Eric Rowan, what would be your game plan here? Uh, just definitely keep on the attack and um, keep him down. Simple but effective. Yeah. You kind of disagree with that at all. And look at this. Oh, what a shot. The Hyundai, he, as I said, just he does not care. He, remember, it was last season he defeated Brock Lesnar in a match when he could have been suspended. And really, Honda is just one of them guys that you can see he just doesn't care what he does. Whatever type of match, Tim. He loves it. That's true. But speaking on the um, Brock Lesnar v Hunter match, I think there's one little detail you're missing out. What was that? A certain uh, Vince McMundo. What do you mean? He, he gave Hunter... I'm pretty sure he distracted Brock, which gave Hunter the unfair advantage. Yeah, Hunter still beat him. The record books still say Hunter beat him. It did not mention Vince. Didn't yeah, it doesn't say anything about our great owner. Yeah. But, as I say, you can't count our guy like Hunter as we're seeing here. Yeah, you changed your tune quickly, didn't you? Mm. No, I, I still stand by what I said, but Hunter has still got the skill behind him. Well, let's find out. Hunter works over. Of course, ladies and gentlemen, tonight's show is brought to you by Florida Water. It's fruity, 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 Florida Water. You can get it in some good stores. And, and some bad ones. ones. Oh, both of these I do. Let's see. Uh, of course, I have plain as always, guys. What do you have, Tim? I have got... The uh, mango and passion fruit. Ah, Marky? And, as always, the berry blast. Oh, yes, of course. And uh, back to the match here. And Eric Rowan in complete control here. Hunter in a little bit of trouble. He and looks in it, but no, Hunter now coming back. As I say, you don't ever count out Hunter, of course. But then again, Eric Rowan is such a huge individual that suplex! Oh, and Hunter taking him down in that could easily crack a rib. Yeah, especially when you're having it done to you by a guy like Eric Ryan. Oh my goodness, the big boot. And that could be it. Rowan looking to put Hunter away. No, Hunter picking himself up, but oh. Eric Rowan managing to catch him there. Maybe stopping the trick. But again, it's George Jacker taking the big man off his feet. Yeah, these two are just back and forth on each other. So it looks like Hunter's trying to come back here. Yeah, look out. Two big shots. The reversal. And the big knee right to the jaw. Hunter yeah, looking. Still standing though. Look out. Has him uh -oh. up. Ah, oh, brain buster. That'll do it. That could be it for Eric Rowan. Hunter looking to win this one. Cover. Hook of the far leg. No. Kick at it too. Wow, Eric Rowan managed to stay in this despite, well, a brain buster, no less. And look at this now, over the top, and Hunter just playing it's around with Eric Rowan here. Planned, I wonder. Oops. Anybody, let's go, and again, look at this, the go behind again, just dragging him. Yeah. Is he taking oh, oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. I think them this fans better bad. move. Hunter through the back. Okay. Oh my god! Jesus Christ! That was. Let's oh go five count. Eric Roy. Eric Roy. This could be a count out victory for Hunter. Eric Roy. Eric runs down and out. Oh my goodness me! The referee yeah. up to a seven, giving him Hunter. Uh, sorry, Eric Roy, plenty of time to get back here and ruins there up. My goodness! It, Hunter, it in. Hunter doesn't believe he's back in. Look out! What? what? <laughs> Handed choke slam, but he doesn't capitalize to go for the pin. A bit of a and Hunter a just mistake by Eric Rowan to not go for the pin. Yeah, Hunter back. Look at this match still going back and forth. This could be anyone's match. And look at Eric Rowan. He was just telling Hunter to bring it on. Oh, he's oh my. bringing it. This is the only action, kind of action you will see on SmackDown, ladies and gentlemen. Two men just really just beating the living hell out of each other. Yeah, just my goodness. And oh, look out! 
Oh, what oh, the world boy. was that? That's like an elbow to Eric Rowan's out of it. Eric Rowan is well and truly out of it. The winner of this match, Hunter. Oh, give that elbow to the back of the head. I think our run might need some medical assistance. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of this match, Hunter. Well, you could see the damage that Hunter caused that spear through the barricade. You know what it is? I would be very worried if I held a title in NSW and this guy came towards me because Hunter, on his day, can beat anyone and that was a very, very good performance. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> So look at him. And remember, ladies and gentlemen, that NSW comes your way four times a week, Raw on a Monday, main event with me and Tim on a Wednesday. Us three will be here every week for SmackDown on a Thursday. NXT with me and Tim again. You can't get enough of us and we'll, you can't get enough of the rookies on NXT on Saturday night. Nonstop Wrestling UK is on YouTube. Why not go then after the show and subscribe? Would be nice if you can. NSW underscore 360 on Twitter and NSW 365 on Facebook. Check the times on screen when the show starts. And of course, the network is... No, naughty, no. Of course it is. It's absolutely free. Coming up next, it is the next round in the Cruiserweight Tournament. Seth Rollins versus Dom. It's coming up next. Yeah, and this should be, well, another great match in this Cruiserweight Tournament. See, well, so could you say high flyers in a way? Well, definitely Seth Rollins. Ladies and gentlemen, making his way to the ring, he is from the Shield, Seth. Rollins! Yeah, one half of well, the former tag team champions will now that uh, will become cruiserweight champion. Yeah, and you know that the Shield will do nothing more than to get titles back into their sort of group, especially after losing the titles thanks to a very, uh, very bad decision from Paul Heyman to not allow Dean Ambrose out at ringside, Marky. Yeah, he's not allowing Dean Ambrose out, and uh. Well it's we even to see uh, what Seth Rollins has got. You know, the greatest member of the Shield. Well, I don't know what you mean by it. bad decision by Paul Heyman. Oh, come on, he banned Dean Ambrose! Hmm. Well, you know, he also banned Bisping. Not true. Well, ladies and gentlemen, making his way to the ring, he is from the Bisping Boys. He is Dom! Well, what a great opportunity for Dom here. He's already getting an opportunity at Cruiserweight Championship, and yet so new to the SmackDown roster. Yeah, well, this could be a very interesting match. It's really the Bisping Boys versus Shield. Who's going to come out on top? It's Dom versus Seth Rollins, and it's up next. Look at that foot, look at that foot movement. Yeah, he's got those movements <laughs> let's go then who are we going up again let's see who we're going with marky who are you going uh i'm gonna, I'm gonna go for uh seth rollins dom is out here about biz being in seth rollins is the greatest member of the shield what about you uh tim well you know i've got to go with dom he's a big spin boy and i've seen what he's done on nxt and how successful he's been so i think he's you know Gonna continue with that success. Let's see if you're right then. Dom spawned the red look tonight. Shield obviously colours for Seth Rollins. And look at this, Rollins throwing Dom in. And not the go behind it. Oh, what a backbreaker into the neck breaker. Dear me, this is what a start so far for Seth Rollins. Yeah, great start for Seth Rollins. Just showing all that. Some of the. Just crazy maneuvers he can do. Mm -hmm. And look out the big spin on the big DDT taking Dom down. And well, he has to really try and concentrate here and keeping Seth Rollins on the map. But oh, nice drop kick again taking Dom down. And Seth Rollins, Marky, has been in control all of this match. Yeah, he's been in control of all of it and see if uh, Dom can pick it up. Look at this, Seth Rollins. Working over Dom here. Well, really, come on then, Tim. We watch NXT. What would what does Dom need to do differently from what we've seen to beat Seth Rollins here tonight? 
You know, he's, he's got to make sure that Seth Rollins doesn't use all that high-flying maneuvers that he can do. He's not... It's just got to keep Seth Rollins off his feet and keep him grounded. I'm going to look at this now. Up to the top. Spinning DDT. Otherwise, moves like that happen. And Seth Rollins has been very impressive here today. You know, uh, Marky, that the Shield have not been in good mood since Sunday. And you know that, well, this is just... You talk about Lesnar and Kinky. It looks like Seth Rollins is getting his aggression out here. Yeah, he's definitely his aggression out, and, well, the victim here is Tom. And look out. Uh-oh. Uh oh yep. Oh, no. This is bad. Buckle bomb! Hits it perfectly. Can he be looking for the... No, he goes for the pin. It's clever to go straight for the pin, and he got him! He got it. Wow. I don't think Dom barely got a move in there. Seth Rollins just... Say, dominated Tom. Seth Rollins is your winner and he moves on in the tournament and will face Tyler Breeze in a couple of weeks. Big win tonight for Seth Rollins. Definitely a big win. I think that worked. The Cruiserweight division I think fits so well for Seth Rollins. Can, can I disagree with that, Marky? Yeah, well, of course Seth Rollins proven why he is the greatest member of the shield. Winner tonight, Seth Rollins. And that is now how your tournament looks, ladies and gentlemen. Tyler Breeze, Seth Rollins making it into the semi-finals. Next week, Tyson Kidd versus Dolph Ziggler. Another big spin boy with a chance. Adrian Neville is going to take on Fandango as well. Then we will know the semi-final lineup. Remember, the finals will be held at Night of Champions, April 26th. And, well, we've seen these already in action tonight. Uh, Tim, what are these two talking about? I don't know, it does a lot now. We've got the sound equipment there, but I'm sure they've got they're plotting something big. Hmm. Well, I wonder if they I wonder if they're thinking about King Kid and Lesnar. I wonder if they're talking well Well what was could it be or what could it be about? It could be anything. Yeah. It could be absolutely anything at all. But and unfortunately we can't hear it. And the worst thing is when Mundo's involved, it's usually bad stuff. Mm. Coming up next, Antonio Cesaro will go one-on-one -on -one against the man that was so unlucky on Sunday night, Danny Six. And this, well, this should be a very interesting match to, you know, I'd say technically gifted athletes taking on each other. Ladies and gentlemen, making his way to the ring first, he is from Switzerland. He has Antonio Cesaro. Yep, Antonio Cesaro, nicknamed well, the King of Swing. And we'll just we'll look to use sort of the strength advantage he has. We've seen some of the high impact moves he can do. And Marky, Cesaro, massive signing for SmackDown. Not really got himself going, but win over Danny here tonight. That could just give it, maybe get himself in line for a shot against Sam Barnett. It definitely could, and we'll let's see if we can get the win. And I know, uh, Tim, that you're a massive fan of this guy. Yeah, I'm a massive fan of Cesaro, one of my personal favourites. Cesaro, ready for action here tonight on SmackDown. Oh, just crunching the neck. Ugh. Jeez. And, ladies and gentlemen, his opponent making his way from Bolton, England. He is Danny Six. Up in a match like this, I think Danny's going to try and use the, well, use the high flying that he uses, like the Hurricane Riders, Well, Cesaro trying to use, well, suplexes and power bombs. Well, Danny Six making his way to the ring. The crowd love this guy. And what you know it is, he was so unlucky on Sunday night. He had the title won. Bespin denied him the chance of the European title. Tim. If we're talking about anyone who's trying to get aggression out, it might be this guy. Yeah, definitely. I think, you know, ever since that situation with Megan, it's, everything's just getting, get, been getting more mad and mad. Danny Six, ready for action here tonight. You can, well, you could just hear the fans. Fans on his, all of them on their feet. They love this guy. But will, will Danny Six use that to his advantage? 
It's the big question. Here we go then, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see who our boys here think is going to win. Let's start with Marky. I'm going to go for uh, Cesaro. Cesaro, okay. Uh, what about you, Tim? I'm going to go with Danny Six. You know, I think just he's been just getting more and more aggressive. Suplex! Oh, God. But moves like that from Cesaro, as I said, I think they're just the moves he's going to start using. Wow. Well, not a good stuff at any Cesaro, of course. Really, you could think if it's someone who was signed by Paul Heyman, if Heyman's looking for someone to chance, CM Barnett, it could be this guy. Because Cesaro, of course, has held the World Championship, headlined WrestleMania 1. Uh, don't let's not forget that, and actually came out with the World Championship. Yeah. Yeah, so Cesaro sure knows how to get it done in the ring. And if he gets a win, yeah, he could be up to face CM Barnett. And you've got to think that Danny will be desperate to try and get another shot at a Megal. He, he was so close on Sunday night. He had a Megal tapping out. No one's ever done that. And if not for the best being distracting the ref, Danny Six would be here tonight, European champion. But at the end of the night, it was Zumago who actually got the win, you know. Best been proving how great of a manager he is. I mean, it was to say Umago didn't tap because he knew that the ref wasn't looking and he just wanted Danny to stop. How could he know the referee wasn't looking? Come on, Marky. He you can know. Hear a you sixth this sense, might have been yelling it. This guy should be European champion right now. Not, there should be no bones about it. He should be European champion. If I was Jim, I would have given him another shot tonight. But he's not because, as you saw, saw Michael got the win. It's simple as. Oh, and a big boot by Cesaro. And you've got to think also, guys, how much did this take out of Danny on Sunday? Yes, he w the adrenaline might be pumping early on, but we, d we don't know what sort of damage he took on Sunday night. And that could play a part of factor against a really fresher Cesaro. Yeah, definitely could. I mean, that was a, a hard-hitting match, and you know what? And Muggle's capable of in that ring. Yeah, we can also we also can't forget Danny was a part of the six-man over-the-top rope battle royal on Raw. So Danny's really this is his third match of the week with Cesaro. Has not faced has, has had a couple of weeks rest and look out! Oh, what an uppercut! And that could be it. Cover. Yep. Yeah. Three and Cesaro picks up the win. The first man wins. Yeah. You could think that maybe that match with a muggle just. And the Battle Royal just had an effect. And Cesaro gets the win. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of this contest, Antonio Cesaro. And you know what it is? Poor Danny just can't get a break. No. It's like, how unlucky can the guy get? Well, maybe he needs to just reformulate a new plan. Just try something different. Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back down to ringside. Dave Easton, Marky Marks at ringside with Tim Price by Satellite. And guys, coming up next, it is your main event. Uh, well, if I was King Kid, <laughs> uh, yeah, good luck. Mm. Yeah, one word, three letters, run. Yep, I would agree with that. Just keep running. So let's find out, ladies and gentlemen, has Cesaro... Cesaro... Has Kincaid even got what it takes to outlast Brock Lesnar? He did bring it on himself, but it's coming up. It's Hardcore Rules next. Yep, and in AJ Kincaid, all I can say is, well, you dug this grave for yourself. Ladies and gentlemen, making his way to the ring first, he is Adrian Kincaid. Yeah, I, I would definitely not want to be this guy right now. No. Definitely, definitely not. Well, you never know. Kincaid, he might, he might be able to pull off a win. Yeah, yeah Mark, Marky, I completely agree. This guy did the damage to Lesnar. On he's the one that got rid of him. I just think yeah. It's... He put him through a kit. He put him through the pod. Uh, Cold breaker. Yeah, we. This guy, he could win tonight. What you know? We've all been building Brock Lesnar up. Hmm. I don't know, it is Extreme Rules and it is Brock Lesnar, that but is. at the same time you definitely can't count out Kincaid, but... Practically was Extreme Rules, put him through a pod. Well, guys, 
Here comes the pain. That here comes pain in a big way. Look at the look of Brock Lesnar's face. Um, That's he, a smile. Yeah, that is. It's the, a smile. Yeah, it's a smirk more than anything. Ladies and gentlemen, making his way to the ring, he is from Minnesota. He is Brock Lesnar. Yeah, you could see that smirk on his face that also mixed with that anger. Well, this could be very bad for King Kader. I completely agree. This is going to be a mm, unbelievable main event. The two human guys going at it. It's Lesnar King Kader coming up next. Okay, guys, who are we going to go for on this one? Let's start with Tim. Main event time. Well, I've got to go with Brock Lesnar. I think just the events of Elimination Chamber of... Well, you saw the look on his face. Uh. And look at this going straight to the ground. Apparently, Marky, who are you going to go for this one? No, never count him out. I'm going for Adrian Kincaid. Nice. Oh, well, let's find it. Come on then, Marky, you tell us. You're Kincaid now. Right in the, you're in Kincaid's position. What, Apart from run, what would you do? Uh, get some toys out there and beat on Brock Lesnar and hit that cold breaker and win. The problem is, is he going to get a chance to do that, though? If Lesnar keeps hitting them kind of moves, this match might not go, might not last very long. Oh, just a shot to the back of the head. Tim, again, if you were in Kincaid's situation here, what would you do? I think I have to agree with Mark here. You know, you've got to get those weapons to just start wailing on Brock Lesnar, but... And do moves like that. The problem is, uh, what if Brock Lesnar brings out the toys and starts wailing on you? Yeah, that is, that, is, that could be the, the, the bad thing. But of course, Kincaid's got to try and keep him down. He's got to try and take him off the vertical base because if not, he's just going to get hit by more and more shots like that uh, on a regular basis. Aaron. Oh! oh. What belly, a belly suplex. <laughs> oh, no. It, oh, just well. as we were talking. Yeah, looks yep, like what's he's going, he bringing out. Looks like a chair he's going for. No, he dropped oh, it. Kincaid, Kincaid done well. Yeah, I, it looks like um, Kincaid hit the base for drop kick and but suplex. Oh, and I think he hit the chair on the way down. And, and well, uh, well, he, great camera work. Yeah, but oh, love yeah. he is back to that MMA style of Brock Lesnar. There is one thing Kincaid does not want to be a part of, and look out. No, reversal by Kincaid and face first goes Lesnar. Yeah, right onto the floor and has said there's barely any padding on that floor. Kincaid, oh, yeah, I thought he just went the wrong way, but nope, throwing Le uh, Lesnar back in. Don't get us wrong here, guys. Kincaid did a lot of damage and well. If he can beat Lesnar here tonight, what will it do? It'll show him and surely, look, I deserve to be, I am a human guy and I can beat the best. Maybe he could go after CM Barnett. Yeah, oh! and oh my, did you see the way he throws it? Oh no, oh, no. suplex! Oh my, I think the side of Kincaid hit those steel steps on the way down. Kincaid may be in another planet at this moment in time. Oh dear me, what a backbreak, and oh my goodness. Yeah. Brock. Kincaid's in a dangerous place right here. And Brock, come on. Oh, no. Look, get all the slum oh. on the floor. This is not going well. In it. He's picking him up again. Oh, come oh, on. Oh, oh, goodness me. This is Slam what King Kate signed up for when he... Slam. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. oh, my oh, goodness. God. A power bomb. You nearly hit our, your announce table. Uh-oh. A five. Oh, on the floor. But, of course, pinfalls don't count out there. No, this is no... Uh, count, pinfalls count anywhere. And, oh my goodness! Oh, oh. King Kid! The stair steps. Oh, is he going? Oh, he's doing what we told him to do. King uh, Kid, no, find it. King Why Kid, did he grab that him? could be his chance. Oh, he's going for it again. Is he going to get it this oh, time? He's got the still. It looks like a still. No, chair. yes, he has. He's got a chair. He has to use this. This has got to be King Kid's chance. But uh oh. Oh no! What's he gonna oh, grab? Oh, there's just got a trash can. Yep, he's. Oh, got oh God! They're gonna go swinging on. King Kid connects. Yeah, Chair King beats cut trash up can. Brock Lesnar. Oh, but he doesn't get any more shots in. And well, Kincaid's in a lot of trouble. Remember, no count out here, guys. This is hardcore rules. Kincaid needs to get a weapon and, and a weapon quick and back under. And what's he going to go for here? I don't know what here? Brock Lesnar's thinking. Not Lesnar's just applauding. Table. He's a freak. He's just applauding. Get in it's the like chip. He likes, it's like he enjoys the pain. This is crazy. 
Kincaid faster than Brock Lesnar with these two with these uh, but, the but the table's not doing anything and he hits him into still steps but what that does is kind of trip oh, up oh, oh come on Lesnar oh he just grabbed that fan's crotch oh no oh, oh, he's got oh, Jeff Jarrett's guitar oh, <laughs> oh the honky tonk man's go on do oh. the honky tonk man oh my goodness me that guy's with another company come on yeah come on Oh, oh, suplex! Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> oh, no this is unbelievable. This is... These events. Oh, no, what a mean event this has been. Oh my god! Oh, did you see the way his head hit the barricade? This is crazy. Extreme rules is definitely showing. You know, just give Kinky credit for still being in this match. Oh no. Another yeah, power bomb! Oh, I'm surprised the ref hasn't stopped this. Kinky. Oh, no. Somehow digging deep here, and just hitting the shin against the steel steps. And again, good lord! Kinky trying everything, but Lesnar blocking him off here, and picking him up, and some more in drop. Well, sorry, oh. follow a slam, and onto the guitar as well. Yeah, I uh, broke the guitar. Oh no! Oh, oh come on! No, no. he reversed oh. it. My goodness, you gotta give. King K credit for the amount of heart he's showing here tonight. That's attacking the arm there. And oh, he's got, he's got he just stole belt. that fan's title belt. <laughs> yes! This is what you got to love! Oh, what a oh, shot! This is busted. Yeah, he's busted open. Can, listen listen to the crowd get mode. behind King K. King K is just beating down. I that. would never ever thought I would hear a SmackDown crowd get behind Adrian King K. And they are loving this. Well, you got to choose some wacky, don't you? It's not like he's a Paul Heyman guy, but then again, he may not be anymore. Yeah. Oh, he's After helping this What? Oh, no. What's he doing? He's choking him. Choking out, him. Brock Lesnar. I think it was at the rope. Look at the mess on the outside. Kinkid back inside. Oh, but Lesnar's oh. caught him. Oh, no. Oh. He could Come be on, trying Allah. to break the arm. Got, got to try to reach the ropes. I don't, I don't think, think he can, no. No. And, uh, you can see the way he's contorting the arm. Oh my goodness, oh, I can't he's look. Break it. He's gonna break it. I can't it. look. If he breaks it, he could break it. He could break his arm. He's got to. All that anger, he's gonna Kinkade break it. has to find a way out of this or Brock is gonna break his arm. Kinky, just give up. You've do, you've, you've, we, we know you've tried your best. I, I think if he taps, he's still gonna break it. Yeah, I don't think. I think that would be the point he taps. I think Brock Lesnar has to break his arm. Cutting his ring. And that is it, King Oh King. my god, oh my god, see the way his arm bent. It, luckily, hopefully it's not broken, but Brock Lesnar picks up the win. I, I think King Kate's arm's broken. I, I saw the way he bent it as soon as King Kate started tapping. But how many powerbomb King Kate give that man? You know this, I have got more respect tonight from, for Adrian King Kate than ever before. That was a hell of a match. Yeah, I've got a hell of a lot of respect for King Cade to stand a Kimura lock for that long and not give up. Unbelievable, ladies and gentlemen, that Adrian King Cade lasted that long. Well, Brock Lesnar is your winner. What a main event. And I'm sure Heyman, well, he'll be pleased with both men's performances in that one. I definitely think so. I think he's going to find a new respect for Adrian King Cade after the heart he showed him. But I think we really need to get some medical attention for Adrian Kincaid. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the match, Brock Lesnar! And just look at that blood. Ooh, well, blood. Still got the, oh no. Come on. Oh, no, no, blood. look at these two. Oh, Come on. Wait, what are these guys going to do? Whoa, what, what the hell? They're attacking Lesnar. What's this about? What the? Oh, Kincaid. He, he's gone to run that from the, the tag champ. What the? What was that about? Oh my goodness, this is going to blow up next week, ladies and gentlemen. Has the tag champs went against Paul Heyman? Have they sided with Kincaid? Who knows? We're going to have to find out next week. Marky, say goodbye to the fans. Goodbye, fans. And Tim, say goodbye to the fans. Goodbye, fans. And make it here next week. Dave Easton signing off. You'll see me and Tim again for NXT on Saturday night. Thanks for watching. Until then, thanks and bye.